hi guys i hope you're all doing great in this video i will show you what an offer letter looks like so i'm gonna share my own offer letter with you that i received from the university of edinburgh it's an unconditional offer letter which basically means i was not required to fulfill any further additional conditions to get an offer from the universities so there are two kinds of offer letters first of all conditional offer letter and second one is unconditional in conditional offer letter the university specifies if you have to fulfill more conditions to receive an unconditional offer for example you might need to submit any transcripts you might need to appear for a language assessment test but in case of unconditional letter that i'm going to show you now it basically means that you can pay the deposit and then you will be admitted to the university so this is my offer letter obviously i have hidden some personal details but i will show you the majority of the offer letter here so you can see that here is my name and this is the date of the offer that i received um and this is my student id and it says uh, dear Rithwik, i'm delighted to inform you that the university is offering you admission to msc marketing one year so basically last year i got an offer from the university to join the msc marketing program uh, at the university of edinburgh so this is what the first line says that i have uh, been accepted uh, at the university for this program and then you can see some additional details if you scroll down it says that um in order to secure your place you must respond to this offer by 7th december 2020 so i received the offer on 9th and i got approximately one month to accept the offer if i scroll down further you will see that it says unconditional offer of admission and that's the name of my school that is college of arts humanities and social sciences the business school comes under this college and then this is the date that's my name that's my date of birth my student id my program that is msc marketing the length of the program is one year uh, program type is taught so there are two types first one is taught and then second one is research so this one is taught and then the school is business school here the attendance date is 6th september 2021 although the classes actually started on 20th september but i believe they put this date so that students can arrive early and they can get used to the city and um, make arrangements for accommodation and everything the period of study is one the expected end date is also mentioned here and then your tuition fee will also be mentioned and this is the first year tuition fee uh, maybe for bachelors uh, it might be different for the rest of the years but uh, since uh, my master's is for only one year the first year fee is mentioned here and then there are no additional program costs here apart from that it says 80 as clearance required no so 80 as as far as i believe it is for phd students not for master students so i was not required for 80 as clearance basically it means that uh, if students are doing some research work um, in the uk they won't um, you know use that knowledge for any wrongful purposes then it says i need to pay 1500 pounds deposit towards your tuition fee so i was required to pay 1500 pounds deposit to secure my place in order to accept the offer and i paid that some agents say that you have to pay 50 percent of the fee or full fee before applying for the visa but that is not true you just need to pay the deposit to accept your offer and the rest of the amount you can show in your own personal savings or you can show a bank letter that says that you have access to this much amount the remaining amount after deducting the deposit from the total amount that you require and that's how you can fulfill the visa condition you don't have to pay 50 percent of your fee in advance just before making your visa application so i just wanted to let you guys know that apart from that it has some further information but that's not important i just wanted to um show you one line here and let me quickly find it yes so it says that please be advised that you have a legal right to cancel your acceptance of our offer in accordance with the university and admissions terms and conditions if you cancel within 14 days from your acceptance you have made any deposit prior to the date 
uh, of cancellation, the university will provide you with full refund as soon as possible within 30 days. So at the University of Edinburgh, if you have paid the deposit and if you want to cancel your admission, for example, you received an offer from any better university, so you can cancel your offer within 14 days of accepting your offer and then the university will refund your amount as soon as possible okay so for example you got an offer from the university of edinburgh but then you also uh, accepted the offer but after a few days you received an offer from university college london imperial college london cambridge or oxford and you want to cancel your admission here then within 14 days of uh, accepting the offer you can actually cancel uh, your uh, offer and re request and request a full refund so that's how refund policy works here and if you're going to any university other than the university of edinburgh and you're wondering if you can get the deposit refunded after accepting the offer just get in touch with their admission team and ask them what's their policy because at the university of edinburgh they do provide an option to get a refund so just make sure that you ask them so this is what an unconditional offer letter looks like i hope you found this video helpful please let me know in the comments if you like this video and do subscribe to my channel because i'll be making many more videos for you all i make a lot of informative videos for students who are currently studying in the uk and who will be coming to study in the uk to make their student journey here easier that's what i try to do so please subscribe to my channel and please press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video that's all for this video i hope you liked it bye